In this video, I'm going to solve the problem 19 from chapter 26. A 60 watt light bulb is plugged into a standard 120 volt outlet. How much does it cost per 31 day month to leave the light turn on continuously? Assume electrical energy cost US dollar 0.06 per kilowatt hour. And the second question is, what is the resistance of the bulb? And the third question is, what is the current in the bulb? Okay, here we have to answer for these three questions. And what is given in the question? In this question, they gave the information about the light bulb power. So what is the power of the light bulb? They mentioned here as 60 watt. And the potential V is given here, 120 volt. And how many days this, turn, this light bulb is continuously turned on? It is turned on for 31 days. So here we have to convert these 31 days in terms of hour because they mentioned per kilowatt hour, they charge 0.06 dollar. So we have to convert these 31 days in terms of hours. So 31 days, we have to convert it to hours in one day how many hours we have, we have 24 hours. So we can cancel this day with day. If you multiply 31 with 24, we got the answer in terms of hours as 7.44 hours. And also better we convert this watt in terms of kilowatt because we are going to calculate the amount. So for that, we have to convert this watt in terms of kilowatt by that the calculation will be very easy. So if you convert this 60 watt in terms of kilowatt, we can write this value as 0 0.06 multiply 10 power 3 watt. So which is 0 0.06 kilowatt, right? Now we are going to calculate how much it will cost if you turn on the light bulb continuously for 31 days. So per kilowatt hour, how much they charge? They charge 0 0.06 per kilowatt hour. And how many days it is running in terms of hours? 7.44 hours it runs continuously. It is turned on continuously for 31 days. So 31 days is exactly equal to 744 hours. And also, what is the power? The power of the light bulb here, we have to convert, we have to use this value in terms of kilowatt by that we can cancel this kilowatt with this kilowatt. So the power of the light bulb is 60 watt. So if you convert this 60 watt in terms of kilowatt, which takes the value of 0.06 kilowatt so we can cancel this kilowatt with this kilowatt we can cancel hour with hour so when you multiply all these we will get the answer for the first question if you multiply 0 0.06 with the 744 and also multiply with the 0 0.06 we got the amount value as 2.68 dollar so if you continuously turn on the light bulb for 31 days they charge 2.68 dollar so this is the answer for the first question and for the second questions we are going to calculate what should be the resistance of the bulb so for that we have to use the formula and we have three formulas for the power calculation power p is equal to current multiplied by voltage power p is equal to current square multiplied by resistance Power P is equal to potential square. That means voltage square over resistance. So here, we don't have the information about the current in the question. So we can't use these first two one. So better we can use the last one for calculating the answer for the resistance. Power P is equal to potential square over resistance. If you rearrange this equation in terms of resistance, resistance which is equal to voltage square over power and voltage they mentioned in the question as 120 volt, right? So 120, the whole square over, and the power they mentioned as 60 watt. And when you just divide 120 square with 60, we got the answer for the resistance, which is the answer for the second question. So we got the answer here as 240 ohm. So this is the answer for the second question. And in the third question, we are going to calculate what is the current in the bulb? What is the 
current in the bulb. For this, I'm going to use either the first formula or the second formula. So both will give the same answer. So better, I'm going to use the first equation. So for the third question, I'm going to use either you can use first one or second one. So here I'm going to use the first one. Power P is equal to current multiplied by voltage. Therefore, current is equal to power over voltage. And the power is mentioned as 60 watt. And the voltage here they mention as 120. You can cancel this zero with zero. By that, we get the answer for the current here as 0 0.5 ampere. So this is the answer for the questions. If you use the second formula, let's we check that also. If you want to use this one, you'll get the same answer. Let's we try for that also. Or we can use power P is equal to I square multiplied by R. Therefore, I square, which is equal to power over resistance. Therefore, current is equal to square root of power over resistance and power value they give the answer of the power the value of the power is 60 watt and the resistance i'm going to take the answer from the second part as 240 and if you calculate this you will get the same answer current i is equal to 0 0.5 ampere so either you can use the first tool or the second tool you'll get the same answer so this is the answer for the third question that's it thank you